Hey teachers, spring is a great time for candy science experiments in the classroom. Kids love science experiments and they love candy science experiments even more. But this time of year, store shelves are lined with Easter candy and there is all kinds of fun things that you can do with chocolates and eggs and jelly beans in your science instruction. But today we are going to focus on experiments that you can do with one of the most popular spring candies and that is Peeps. All right, so we may all disagree on the flavor and texture of Peeps. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the taste. Let me know down in the comments whether you actually like to eat Peeps or not. But no matter what you think about eating Peeps, I think we can all agree that there are a lot of really fun science experiments that you can do with them. Now before we get into that, I do just wanna let you know that some of the experiments that I'm going to show you today are included in my Easter Candy Science Experiments resource. This resource includes three experiments that you can do with spring candies and one STEM challenge. All of the experiments in this resource include instructions and worksheets that students can use for making predictions, recording data, and drawing conclusions at the end of the experiment. This time of year can be really crazy in the classroom. It's that time of year where we have a really long stretch between winter break and spring break, and using some of these fun candy science experiments are a great way to keep students engaged during this time. Now let's go ahead and get into our peep science experiments for this video. The first one I am going to show you is a super low prep, super easy science experiment with peeps. So this experiment has to do with the effects of temperature on peeps. And as students experiment with the temperature, they're also going to be able to make inferences about the properties of peeps. So we are going to need at least three peeps for this activity. And I recommend that you use all of the same color so that way students don't think the color has an effect on some of the things that are going to happen. So the first one is very simple. You're just going to put a peep on a plate that is going to be your room temperature peep. So this is your peep at room temperature. The second peep that you're going to use, ooh, these things are sticky. The second one that you're going to use, we are going to heat this one up in the microwave. So I'm gonna put it on a microwave safe plate and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat this one up right now. Now you do not need to heat this up for long. I say start with 10 to 15 seconds and if you need to add more time, you can do that, but you don't want any explosions in the microwave. I'm actually going to stop it there because I can see, and it will go down quickly, but you can see here that this peep has definitely expanded some. And we're gonna sit this one next to our room temperature, which is the control. All right, and so then we've got one more that we've got to look at, and those are our frozen peeps. Now I've already got some peeps frozen in my freezer that I've had in there for a few hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. Really, if you just stick them in for an hour to two hours, they'll be fine. Now when you're using your frozen peeps, it's important to talk with students before you actually show them what these peeps look like and have them make predictions because they're probably gonna think that they're gonna be completely solid or maybe they're gonna shrink up. And those things do not happen. You'll see that when I squeeze it, while it is a little bit harder, I'm still able to squeeze it. It's not completely solid. And that's because in order for something to turn completely solid, it has to have moisture in it that becomes solid. But peeps don't have a lot of moisture in them. They're mostly air. So you're still able to squeeze them even though they become a little bit more firmer. Now, because the peeps are mostly air, our hot one, it puffed up because what happens is the sugars dissolve. And as those sugars dissolve, 
the molecules begin to expand and it gets bigger and bigger. But as you can see, this is a really simple experiment you can do to uh, look at the effects of temperature on solids and to discuss the properties of each of these candies. All right, so the next experiment that we are going to do is all about buoyancy. And the only other thing you are going to need aside from your peeps is a bowl of water. Now, to start this experiment, you're definitely going to want to talk about what buoyancy is and then have your students make predictions about whether or not they think peeps will float. You can create graphs or tables to record predictions and incorporate some math skills as well. After they've made those predictions, then all you are going to do is you are going to sit a peep in that bowl of water to see what happens. And you should find that the peep floats right on top. Now, we're gonna then take this a step further and you are going to have each of your students experiment to see is it possible to make the peep sink. You can have them work in partners or have them work separately. They can try things like rolling it into a ball, flattening it, tying objects to it, try sitting something on top of it, but have them experiment to see is it possible to make the peep sink. And I will tell you the answer, spoiler alert, yes, you can make it sink. And some of the best ways that I have seen students do this is by flattening it or rolling it into a ball. Remember, it can float because it's mostly made of air. So what students want to do is they want to get as much air out of the peep as possible. So flattening it, rolling it into a ball, those are some of the best ways to do that. All right, so we're down to our third experiment, and this last one is one that is going to show how things dissolve, and you're also gonna be able to create some fun art with it as well. Now for this experiment, in addition to your peeps, you'll need a plate. Make sure you're not using a paper plate as the water could make it soggy and then you'll have a mess. Uh, and I also recommend that you use white or a light color because the results are gonna show up best on white or a light color. The other thing that you'll need is some warm or hot water. I have a teapot here that is ready to go for me. Now for this experiment, what you are going to do is you're gonna line the outside of a plate with your peeps. And it's really fun if you use multiple colors. I like using two to three colors because then you're gonna be able to see some really cool effects when these peeps start to dissolve. So we're gonna speed this up. I'm gonna go ahead and line the outside of this plate with these peeps. So you can see here that I have lined it. I like doing every other color. You'll see what happens in just a second. Now, the next part is very simple. You're gonna take your warm water and you're slowly going to pour it into the center and it's going to spread. And as that water spreads and that warm water touches the peeps, you should get a very cool reaction. But make sure to go slow with this. And it may also take a few minutes as well, so we're gonna let it sit. But you can already see, this is interesting, the pinks started to dissolve first. So these are some fun conversations you can have with your students, is how do the different colors dissolve? How fast does it happen? You can experiment with temperature to see does it happen faster with cold water or warm water, and you can time those differences. But we can already see a really cool effect. You can see here that we've got a striped effect, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, all the way around, it's so cool. All right, teachers, there you have it. There are three very fun, very simple, very inexpensive science experiments that you can be doing with your students this spring using PEEPS. I hope you and your students have a blast with these. And before we wrap this video up, I do just wanna take a moment to ask you if you could please like this video and subscribe to this channel. It would mean so much to us. We create all of the videos and content here on this channel completely for free. And when you take the time to like a video and subscribe to the channel, it helps us to continue making free content for you and other educators around the globe. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I hope you and your students enjoy these experiments. And until next time, happy teaching.